Hi, uh, I want to share with you uh, a strategy that uh, I think is, is a biblical strategy and it comes from the concept of, of a military general that is taking ground, that is uh, waging a war and he's moving forward and he's capturing ground and so he has a starting point and he has a destination. And as he moves toward that destination, he captures a village here, he captures a village there, uh, he might capture a city or a bridge or something like that. Uh, and he is slowly moving toward his destination, conquering as he goes. Uh, but what he doesn't do is keep moving forward and moving forward and moving forward without making sure that which he's already captured is solidly in his control. Because if he keeps moving further and further into enemy territory, it's possible that the enemy can come around from the sides and that which he has already captured is recaptured by his enemy. And then he's encircled by the enemy. And so uh, this, this is the point, is that uh, as we move forward and we bring people to Jesus, we establish them. We get them established in the word of God and then we move forward again, and we establish them again. Uh, what I'm talking about specifically is when it comes to events. And so we have an event that might be a Christmas event, for example. And so with the Christmas event, we have a lot of visitors coming, coming, uh, coming in. And so what we probably want to, don't want to do is have another big event right afterwards, a crusade or, or, or something else. Because what we have, and this is a real situation that I'm experiencing at our Tolsinkai campus right now, is that we have more new people coming in, more new people coming in, more new people coming in, but they're not established. And so they're shallow. And so they don't last. And so what we want to do is be careful of having too many successive events, one event after another, without first consolidating. Consolidation would, would look like this for me. It would mean that we would have an event and then we make a major effort to follow up with the event. Uh, one pastor told me that the big event is not the big event. We spend weeks preparing for a Christmas, for example, or a crusade or something like that. And we spend a lot of time, energy planning, working night and day, seven days a week. We have the event and then we're all tired and we take the next week off. No, 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 that's the wrong thing to do. The, the big event is actually the beginning of the work. And so it's very important that after the event, we try to, to follow up with the, uh, the new people that we've captured. And there are, they're in various levels of faith, they're in various, uh, processes and steps in the process of, of their journey. I'll talk about that in another video. And so what we want to do is try to follow up on them, get them at least back to church the next week, try to have a, a visitor orientation with them, or get them in, in a, a cell group kind of a setting, a small group kind of a setting, or into a short class. What we're trying to do is this new harvest that we have, we're trying to bring that harvest into the warehouse and get it a little bit established before we move on with another event. And so uh, for us at the Tolson Kai campus, this is what I've observed, particularly with the, the youth, the Saturday youth outreach. Is the youth outreach has gone from 50 to 80 to 90 to 120, up to 170 youth, and up down to 150 and then down to uh, 130, and then down to 110, or sometimes even less than 100. And so why is that? The reason why is because we have not assimilated all of those new youth. We have new youth coming all the time, but we have not assimilated them. They're coming, they've enjoyed the event, they come for a little while, and then they're off to something else. There must be the strategy for example, in our situation, to take those youth and help them to establish relationships. And so for that's a key for us at our Tolson Kai campus uh, youth outreach, is trying to establish them in relationships. The same thing with English classes. A lot of English students come, a lot of English students go. 
we have not established. They're just a crowd, a crowd, a crowd. They come in here, they hang around for a little while, and then they move on to something else. So we have to, to do uh, strategic targeting of those individuals whose heart is open and consolidate them. And then we move on to another event. So this is a thought, and I'll, I'll share another thought uh, in another video that is associated with us. Thank you.